So is 80 the new 18? According to Adweek, it is. So apparently there are many designers and brands who are breaking away from the ho-hum tactics, telling us that we have to be young, to look young, to feel sexy, to be successful, or to be happy. Today I want to tell you a little bit about a personal experience I recently had, and then I'm going to show you a couple of great examples of sexy and confident at all ages. I recently went shopping at Victoria's Secret, something I've done many times, and right away, like usual, I got that anxious feeling in my stomach because I know my body doesn't look like the models on their posters featuring the panties that I'm interested in buying. Now, I would consider myself an intelligent woman with a degree in psychology, I could see right through their transparent efforts to suggest that if I buy their clothes, I, I might feel as desirable as those models, look sexier, be happier. So one would think that that wouldn't get to me, but it still did. It still kind of got in my head. And those defeating thoughts were fleeting and possibly barely noticeable hadn't I been paying attention, but I'm glad I was paying attention because then I can interrupt that cycle and not, not engage in those icky, defeating thoughts. But unfortunately, most of us are walking around not paying attention. I recently made a video that was kind of a rant about uh, the plastic surgery obsessed Hollywood. And I'm pretty sure that's because we are constantly being fed the message that you have to look young to be in your 20s, Again, to be successful, to be happy, sexy, whatever. Now, I don't know about most of you watching this video, but my 20s were mostly spent living paycheck to paycheck, lurching from one identity crisis to the next. Now, granted, there were a lot of great times, but it's definitely nothing that I care to relive. And I'm not very interested in buying my anti-aging cream from the 20-year-old in the ad. Now, hope still does exist for a cultural shift in paradigm. Um, many brands and designers have tapped into the hip, edgy, trendy, older models well into their 60s, 70s, 80s, even 90s to be their brand ambassadors. Kate Spade, one of my favorite designers, actually recently highlighted Iris Apfel, uh, the 93-year-old model in some of her ads. L'Oreal UK recently signed on the 65-year-old Twiggy. And my favorite it girl is Linda Roden, the 65-year-old founder of Olio Lusso, recently acquired by Estee Lauder. I actually uh, posted on my Facebook page recently that I wanna be just like Linda when I grow up. Now, there are many more brands out there that are following suit, such as Celine, who recently featured the 80-year-old author, Joan Didion, who actually broke the internet when her ad hit the web. Some younger celebrities, such as Kelly Osbourne and Nicole Richie, for example, have gone so far as to dye their hair gray. Uh, you can actually look up the granny style on Instagram and see the new trending hairstyle, which is silvery locks. Now, according to the article in Adweek, there is a bit of a cultural shift going on. Uh, there seems to be a change in the way that we're perceiving age. And while that heavily Botox look does reign in some circles still, uh, there is this growing sense of feeling comfortable in our own skin. So here's the bottom line for me, folks. Style comes in all ages, confidence is attractive, and fearlessness is sexy. Thanks for visiting livemorenow.net.